I'm Chris, you're watching Fragmental. More sampling today, I'm diving into the house of Royal Crown. Stay tuned to FM. Royal Crown is a house that I don't hear much talk about. They are very expensive, they're luxury niche, quite difficult to get hold of, so maybe that's the reason. There's one or two things on YouTube, but there's not a lot, and they don't really seem to have much of a presence online. In fact, if you go to their website, it doesn't look like you can purchase their fragrances through their website, so I'm assuming they have um, their boutique in Rome, but I'm not sure if they have uh, any other shops or outlets around the world. There are a limited amount of them available on natino.co.uk, so you can have a look there. They do range in price from about 200 to, as far as I can tell, around 700 pounds. So yep, definitely on the pricey side, but it's luxury niche. Uh, from what I've smelled so far, I have smelled a few when I was in Milan and the quality from what I can remember seems great and the presentation is uh, pretty fantastic as well. So I'm going to go through these, I can't remember which ones I've smelled before, so I'm going to work my way through all the samples that I found in my sample stash. So I've got 12 here, so this is going to be turbo sniffing, turbo sampling because I don't want to spend too long on each one. So how I'm going to work this is the ones that really speak to me, the ones that excite me, the ones I love, I'm just going to put to one side, maybe revisit those quickly at the end just to decide which is my favourite. And the ones that don't immediately speak to me, then I will, um, I'll move on from pretty quickly. So I'm going to get started on the sampling. I've got all my strips pre-sprayed just to save time again. So we're going to start with the first one to hand here, and this is no. So, okay, this is spicy, quite dry, very rich, opulent. Uh, I think there's some florals in here, some woods. Okay, it smells, yeah, it does. It smells high quality, definitely smells niche. But to me, this one smells very wearable. I've written down what the highlights of the, the note breakdown are. So in this one, we've got spices, amber, patchouli, tobacco, and oud. This is going to be really difficult because I think these are the types of fragrances that will just become magical on skin. So this is just, this is just the very first impressions off paper. There's not really any other way to test 12 samples. So it's rich, it's deep. Yeah, it's velvety with the amber. Okay, so far, I love that. I am going to put that on the love pile. That one is no. This one is called Alchemia. This one smells heavy on the rose. Yeah, very, there's kind of, there's like a pink rose, but there's also a, um, a darker rose to it as well. Maybe there's a couple of types of rose in here. Very bright, invigorating, uplifting, elegant, I'd say. Probably a little too much rose for my personal tastes. Um, the notes, the highlights of the notes in this are rose, florals, woods, sandalwood, and oud. This, yeah, I really like it. It's very high quality, but I'm not gonna put that on the love pile. So I've been meaning to explore this house for a while. I've had these samples for a couple of years now, and just to make these videos gives me a great opportunity and a great excuse to make some content for you guys at the same time that hopefully you find interesting. But it gets me through all these samples. I've got so many houses with sample sets that I need to explore, so it's just a great way of me doing this. So I would be smelling these anyway. I just thought I'd roll the camera and you can join me as I, as I smell them. So this one's called Flare. Okay. That's strong. All right, this is, I feel like there's some serious white florals in this one. It smells quite, quite indolic. I feel like there's maybe oud in here as well. Yeah, this is very good. This is, this is as high quality as it gets actually. It smells complex. It smells big and audacious. All right, let's have a look at the notes in this one. So citrus, florals, woods, Honey and ambergris. Oh, it must the ambergris in this must just be making it sparkle. It really, yeah, it really does smell very good. Flare. Okay, highly enjoyable. Really like that one. And um, the sweetness of the honey, I think, is working really well in that. This one's called My Oud. Okay, so this one smells a little animalic. 
I guess it's the Oud. I um, almost get like a, a damp earth accord from this one, whether that's the, the Oud or not, I'm not sure. This is a little more on the challenging. I like it. A little more on the challenging side. I think I would find this one harder to wear. If you if you like Oud, if you like to smell Oud, and it's not, it's not unwearable at all, but you have to like Oud to like this one. It's nice, nice. Like it, not on the love pile. All right, this one is called Rain. Oh, this is, okay, this is very different from the rest. This, to me, smells very similar to Green Irish Tweed from Creed. That dehydromersonal, maybe some violet leaf. It smells, it smells fresh, slightly aquatic. Very uplifting, very invigorating, because it reminds me of that cool water, Green Irish Tweed DNA. Not exactly the same, but I don't think the violet, maybe there isn't violet leaf in here. I don't, it doesn't have the green, perhaps as much green as uh, Green Irish Tweed. But nice, but because it's reminding me of other fragrances, not a love. Um, the notes in here are bergamot, neroli, jasmine, rose, iris, and sandalwood. Okay, that's nice. I haven't smelt one. I don't, I don't smell many fragrances I don't like, unless something is really feminine and not for me. I, I mean, I can still appreciate a good, a good fragrance, even if it is, um, you know, more uh, leans more to the feminine for me. Uh, but I don't really smell many fragrances that I, I hate, that I have a really negative and bad uh, reaction to. I don't, yeah, I, I tend to like quite a lot, actually. I, I appreciate a lot of compositions. And you know I have my favourite kind of compositions as well. Uh, this is called Khan. Okay. All right, this is very woody and spicy. I feel like, I don't think it's a clone of anything at all, but I, I feel like it's a style of perfumery that I've smelled before. Definitely, I think the Oud is coming through on here now. Let's read the notes. Um, pink pepper, neroli, rosewood, and Oud in this one, in Khan. I like, but don't love. I wonder if I'll get one I hate. Probably not. Um, this one is Celebration. Wow, that, that is invigorating. That is fresh, citrusy, bright, um, mandarin, like mandarin orange, juicy. It's, the, the citruses are juicy in this one. Almost feels like you're taking a bite out of a, a fresh orange or mandarin. Slightly aromatic, maybe a few herbal nuances in there. I think this would be a great summer fragrance. I personally feel like with a citrus scent, I like a little bit more going on as well as the citruses, whereas to me at the moment, this just seems like a big citrus bomb and may just lack a little bit of complexity but if it's a if it's a summer fragrance that kind of fresh invigorating fragrance then the idea i guess is not to have too much complexity maybe some neroli um the notes of this one basic um highlight of the notes citruses florals cypress mm, yeah i wasn't really getting the cypress in there nice not love I don't want to have too many loves by the end of this video because I really want to kind of whittle them down. So I'm being quite harsh in, in my judgments. All right, Sultan. Yeah, okay, this is, this is darker. This is, this is woodier. Maybe some tobacco in here. Sweet, it's got a lovely sweetness. It's got a lovely warming woody nature to it, this one. Almost like, um, you know what this makes me think of? When, have you ever been in a sauna and you, uh, you, you put the water on the coals in the sauna and everything heats up and the, the wood inside the sauna just warms and you just get a smell of that heating up wood which has got this, I think it must release some kind of sweet odour. Kind of reminds me a little bit of that. And I like saunas, so it's a nice association. Okay. Uh, this is part of their Imperial collection, and uh, we've got some vanilla, dates, cedar. A sauna's made of, of cedar wood, maybe. Uh, fruits, rose, jasmine, oud, and myrrh. All right, so 
I think uh, the resins, I think the myrrh is really just giving this one a nice kind of right in the base. It's just giving it a lovely bit of punch, lovely little kind of sweet punchiness. I'm not pick really picking up on too many florals in this. Maybe on skin I would. The rose and the jasmine aren't that prominent. It's that vanilla and the woods in this one. That's a like. Sultan is a like, definitely. I love, I love, sorry, I love that one. That's really good. And um, this one is called Itzma. So quite, so green, like a green mossy feel. But there's something more, there's, some, there's something darker in there as well. So it's like green mosses and maybe some woods. Ah, there's something, what is that in there? There's something, there's something that is smelling familiar. I can't put my finger on it. It's good. It's smart. This is very good. All right, let's um, let's have a look at the notes. So it's a Shepra. Um, we've got violet leaf, orange blossom, cypress, sandalwood, oud, and tobacco. Oh, that is incredible. This might be my favourite, actually. This is really... This is my favourite so far. Itzma is my favourite. Maybe it's the tobacco, maybe it's the combination of tobacco, sandalwood, oud. That is an absolutely banging scent. That is great, Itzma. Okay, so far that is my favourite. I'll re-sniff all my, my loves quickly at the end. Hope I'm not going too fast through the video, but I just want to just give a quick first impressions really. Uh, this is called Tenebra. Green, this is very green and white florally. Yeah, I like, I like these fragrances. They remind me of gardens, these type of white floral greeny type fragrances. They remind me of lovely gardens in the summertime, which is a nice, pleasant smell and association, but not the type of scent DNA that I typically would choose to wear. Very nice, pretty, elegant, maybe more feminine. In fact, I think that would be great. I think this would be great on a woman, more than me. I don't think I could pull this one off. Tenebra, really nice, really nice. Good for a woman. And we got two left. Racing through these. Speed sniffing. Um, Imperator. That's good. This is good too. This is sweet and warming as well. Probably, I think maybe some sandalwood. Oud. Imperator, this is great. So we've got spices, iris, rose, cedar and myrrh. That's going on the love. So far we have one, two, three, four, we've got five loves now. Five loves. There's a lot of love. It is, it is around Valentine's, isn't it? Can have a lot of love. All right, this is Isabella. Yeah, this is, um, I think this is, Obviously targeted at females, going off the name. I would say yes, I would agree with that. Maybe some white florals and some green accords, maybe some tuberose. Uh, lavender maybe, it does. Mm, ah, sorry Royal Crown, this is just making me think of um, toilet air freshener. I know that's probably just my unrefined um, nose, but I do just have that association. So, um, fairly elegant female fragrance. Um, rose, rum, tuberose, vanilla, tonka bean, sandalwood. Maybe it changes on skin. I, I thought maybe that would have been a little warm, more warming, a little darker with the vanilla, the tonka, the sandalwood. Don't really get much booziness from that, from this rum note either. Okay, it's nice. It's nice. It's not a love. All right. Let's go back through the loves. So let's start with the first one that I love, which was Noor. Yeah. This is, this is a scent that you can't really go wrong with. This is a scent to wear autumn, winter time, maybe cooler spring days. It's a good, dry, spicy, woody, fairly complex scent that you could get away with wearing easily. It's not challenging. Slight like Middle Eastern feel to it. It's nice, no. Yeah, tobacco in that one. Wonder if all these ones in my love pile have got tobacco in them. Um, flare. Okay. This is great. 
This isn't as much of a love as no. The quality of this, the, 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 the density and the concentration and the quality of the ingredients though is really impressing me. Although as a scent, personally, for me to wear, I think it leans a little more feminine and not as much of a love as no. And uh, back to Sultan. Yeah, this is the sauna, the sauna one with the dates and the vanilla. Yeah, that is really good. I really like that. I prefer this one to no. So, so far, Sultan is in the lead as my biggest love. Back to Itzma. Oh, this is good. This is good. Oh, the, dr the dry aspect to this one. The dryness is... Oh, this is great. I don't know what is uh, making me so happy about this fragrance. Again, it's the Sheepra with the Violet Leaf, Orange Blossom, Cypress, Sandalwood, Oud, Tobacco. It's incredible. That is incredible. I think it's just a little more complexity going on than Sultan. Yeah. This is a lovely, sweet, warming, woody fragrance, Sultan, and uh, this one, uh, Itzma, is, it's got all those qualities, but more. It's got more going on. That's brilliant. So, Itzma, so far, is my favorite. Imperator. Yeah, I don't like this as much as Itzma. Actually, now, now I smell them side by side. It's still very good. The resins in this one, um, sweet resins, really nice. I'll just go side by side with Itzma. <sighs> mm, it's very good, but... Yeah, there's just something about Itzma that it's just making me, it's just really hitting the spot. You know, you, you know, you smell something and you like things and you even love things and then you smell something and you're almost lost for words to explain how it makes you feel. I kind of get that with this one. Stunning scent. And the color of the juice of this one, as you can see, this is a really dark juice in here. Oh, very high quality. Absolutely beautiful. So there we go, Itzma is, is my favorite. And uh, to be honest, there's not a bad scent in there. Some uh, little too feminine for me. Generally, the quality of all these fragrances is fantastic. Like I said, I did smell some in Milan as well. And I remember thinking the same thing there, that the quality was fantastic. I'm just gonna quickly read you a little bit of um, information about this house, what they say on here. And it says, created by Antonio Martino, Designer and nose of the Maison Royal Crown, it embodies the excellence of Made in Italy, aimed towards those in search of a contemporary charm in artistic perfumery. That's a good point, actually, because I don't think any of these smell dated, actually. They all smell very, very relevant today. Nothing really smelled old or dated at all. The Royal Crown Challenge is to satisfy the most demanding people through a combination between luxury and Italian style. It evokes a lifestyle in a simple spray. So there we go, Royal Crown. I've been meaning to smell this line. Now I've made this video, I can make reference to it myself whenever I want to remind myself what I thought about a certain fragrance. So um, that's one use for making this video, but I hope you found it useful as well. I hope you found it interesting. I hope it wasn't just too quick a sniff for you. This could have been an hour long video if I'd have spent too much time on each of these fragrances, uh, but I just wanted it to be fairly, fairly quick. So if you've tried anything from Royal Crown, I'd love to hear from you. If you know of the best way to get hold of these fragrances, rather than, you know, going to Rome, then let me know because anyone who might be interested in this house would love to see that information as well about where you can get hold of them. As I said, uh, you can pick a few of them up at natino.co.uk and I'm sure other websites carry them as well. That was just from a quick Google search. They're luxury niche, uh, the bottles are amazing. It's one of those where you're, you're gonna be paying a lot of money but you're gonna be getting that higher quality of materials and you're gonna be getting the type of presentation that uh, a collector would want. You know, you'd wanna be investing in these bottles 
to, to have them on your shelf. They do look quite luxurious and exquisite. So I love that. I enjoyed it. That's another sampling session ticked off. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, keep tuning into FM and keep smelling good.